friends. I'm Kelly Denton, Minister of Discipleship, and I hope that you're enjoying and maybe learning a little bit about some of these spiritual disciplines that we've been talking about each week. Today, we're going to talk about another form of prayer called Visio Divina, or Divine Seeing, sometimes called Sacred Seeing. And it is a way to encounter God through pictures or photographs or images. Now, it shares the same root uh, with Lexio Divina, which we've talked about, um, which is hearing and listening to the scriptures. And combined together, the hearing and listening plus the seeing, um, it can be used very effectively to enter us into dialogue with God. Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes when I pray, it becomes this activity in my head. I'm searching for the right words to say or the right phrases. Um, and it wasn't until I began walking or prayer walking, like I like to call it, uh, that I began to notice the beauty in my surroundings. And then I started just thanking God for those things. And I didn't realize it then, but actually this noticing the beauty and talking to God, um, I was actually participating in a form of uh, Visio Divina, a very ancient uh, way of praying. So the way of viewing our surroundings in art or pictures or photographs um, Viewing these surroundings and thanking God or noticing them is a way of practicing Visio Divina. You can pray through art, any form of art, icons or paintings, stained glass windows, and even scenes in nature. We're each wired in different ways. Some of us respond best to the written word and some to the spoken word, and some to music, and some to art, and some to movement. But we can connect to God through each of these ways. And though we may have a preferred sense through which we like to pray, you can experience God more richly by using all of your senses. So I encourage you to give Visio Divina a try. We're going to go through uh, this next activity of praying through the Psalms using Visio Divina, and I hope that you'll enjoy this. To begin Visio Divina, first, find an image. You can use any type of image for Visio Divina. You might use images found in the church, such as a religious painting, a stained glass window, or an icon. You can also look in art books or museum websites for works of art. Historical religious paintings are great choices, and you can use the related scripture passage to open your time in prayer. You can also go to a place outside that you enjoy, like sitting on your dock or your back porch and sit and contemplate the images you see. Second, prepare your heart for prayer. Before you begin, make sure you have your image visible, whether it's next to you in person or have the image pulled up on your phone or computer. You may want to begin your time in prayer with a scripture reading. If you're using a religious image, use the scripture related to that image or use a scripture from the day's lectionary reading or just a favorite you want to pray. Close your eyes, breathe, clear your mind, and ask God to enter into this time of prayer with you. Ask God to speak to you through this image. Third, allow the image to speak to your heart. Open your eyes and look at the image you've selected. Let your eyes pause and focus on the part of the image they're first drawn to. Gaze upon just that part of the image for a minute or two. Then close your eyes, still seeing that part of the image in your mind. Fourth, reflect on the entire image. Open your eyes and now look upon the whole image. Gaze upon all of the image, allowing it to draw forth a word, an emotion, or an image in your heart. What do you hear God whispering into your heart? What thoughts or questions is this image raising? What emotions do you feel? Continue to gaze and reflect as long as you need to. Then briefly close and rest your eyes. Fifth, 
pray through the image. Open your eyes. While looking upon the image, respond to God. Pray through the words, images, emotions, questions, and thoughts that are now on your heart. Continue to look upon the image as you pray. Then close and rest your eyes briefly. 6. Rest and reflect in God. As you close out your time of prayer, open your eyes and gaze again upon the image. Rest in God's presence as you reflect upon this prayer experience. Consider how you'll take this into your life. You may choose to journal about your experience. And now together we'll practice Visio Divina and Lexio Divina. As you set your gaze upon the first image that's now appearing on your screen, I invite you to carefully and slowly scan over this entire image. Let your eyes move over the whole image until you feel pulled to one particular part of it. And then just try to focus in on just that part of the image. Take your time searching the image. And as you do, Listen to the scripture read aloud. And listen for a particular word or phrase in the scripture that stands out to you. A word or phrase that when you hear it, just moves you in some way. And then in the back of your mind, hold on to that word. In Judah, God is known. His name is great in Israel. His abode has been established in Salem, his dwelling place in Zion. There he broke the flashing arrows, the shield, the sword, and the weapons of war. Glorious are you, more majestic than the everlasting mountains. The stout-hearted were stripped of their spoil. They sank into sleep. None of the troops was able to lift a hand. At your rebuke, O God of Jacob, both rider and horse lay stunned. But you indeed are awesome. Who can stand before you when once your anger is roused? From the heavens you utter judgment. The earth feared and was still. When God rose up to establish judgment to save all the oppressed of the earth. Human wrath serves only to praise you when you bind the last bit of your wrath around you. Make vows to the Lord your God and perform them. Let all who are around him bring gifts to the one who is awesome, who cuts off the spirit of princes, who inspires fear in the kings of the earth. Now staying focused on the image, repeat the word or phrase from scripture that grabbed you. You can repeat it out loud or in your heart. Repeat it several times. Now I invite you to have a short conversation with God. You can feel the freedom either to continue looking at this image or to close your eyes, but begin this time with God, asking God, what does my word or phrase have to do with this image? How are they connected? What are you saying to me, God? Speak to God and listen for God. Now we'll open ourselves to read a second scripture, and a new image now appears before us. As the final image appears on your screen, I invite you to listen and to look for hope in both the image and in the words of scripture. Seek hope. Let's dwell in God's word again. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. 
Day after day they pour forth speech. Night after night they reveal knowledge. They have no speech, they use no words. No sound is heard from them. Yet their voice goes out into all the earth, their words to the ends of the world. In the heavens, God has pitched a tent for the sun. It is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, like a champion rejoicing to run his course. It arises at one end of the heavens and makes its circuit to the other. Nothing is deprived of its warmth. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The decrees of the Lord are firm, and all of them are righteous. They are more precious than gold, than much pure gold. They are sweeter than honey, the honey from the honeycomb. By them your servant is warned, and keeping them there is great reward. But who can discern their own errors? Forgive my hidden faults. Keep your servant also from willful sins. May they not rule over me. Then I will be blameless and innocent of great transgression. May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. And now in these final moments of reflection, offer a prayer to God about your hope. Perhaps it's giving thanks for an inspiration or scripture or someone who gives you a sense of hope. Maybe it's a person or situation in your life which is a source of hope. Right now, ask God to find a sense of hope. Whatever it is, speak to God and listen for God. And now as we close our time of prayer, I invite you once again to take a few long, slow breaths at your own pace. Breathe in as much air as you can and then release every last bit of air in your lungs. Take as long as you like to sit in the stillness of God's quiet presence. Then end your prayer with whatever feels natural to you, with the Lord's Prayer or request for God's help or anything that will help you remember that God goes with you, even as you end this time of prayer and meditation. May God's blessings be with you now and always. Amen.